In this video, we're going to test the generate user ID method inside of our utility class. And if I look up at the utility class and the generate user ID method, it calls the generate random string and generate random string simply uses the alphabet and the random and it does not really depend on any other objects that are outside of this class and it does not access property files so we do not really need an integration test for this case but we will still um, keep it otherwise we could remove the annotations from the uh, top of the class so uh, let's uh, test the generate user id method we will need to bring in the utility class so i will auto wire it into my utils test class and i'll create a new class field utils and i'll call it utils as well like this auto wire it like this and let me import auto wire it annotation now when i have it auto wire it into my utils test class i can use it and i will delete this commented outline and i will use utils dot and then generate user id and generate user id takes one uh, argument which is a length of generated user id that we want to have let's have it equal to 30. so this method will generate user id of a 30 character slot so i will create a new object user id equals to the generated user id and now i can use assertions to assert that user id is not now and that user id is exactly 30 characters long so i will use assert not now and give it user id let's import assert not now and let's use assert true and it takes a boolean value we'll take user id we know it's not now now and we check its length and we will check if it's equal to 30 characters exactly like this so if the method generate user id is working fine we should get a user id which is not now and which is exactly 30 characters long let's run this unit test and see if it's working Here we go, the bar is green, the test has passed, and we have one test which is ignored, and the generate user ID test is successful. We can also make sure that the two user IDs that are generated are not equal because generate user ID must be a unique value. So, what we can try, we can add user ID 2, for example, and then update our assertions and assert that user ID 2 is not null and that user id 1 and user id 2 are unique so what i'm going to do i'm going to use user id and then call uh, equals ignore case and then get user id 2 and add an exclamation mark here so i'm asserting that user id 1 and user id 2 are not equal which should result into true because the generate user id must generate a unique user id so let me run it as unit test and see if it's passing and here we go the bar is green and the test is successful so the generate user id is working fine we can test it and we can make sure that the user id is exactly 30 characters long and every time it is generated it's unique and if i change my assertions for example and test if it's 31 characters long the test should fail here we go the bar is green and the test is failing so it's working let's change it back to 30 characters and let's continue